Hey everyone, it's April and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you back into my kitchen and this is going to be some clips from around some different holidays. This was more around the winter time and Valentine's Day, but I just wanted to give you a little overview of my kitchen just to give you an idea of what I was working with. Um, we are going to be upgrading the countertops i'm painting them white and just looking you can tell that they already were kind of a white color but they had some yellowish color veining in them and i will show you guys a little close-up of what it looked like Now these are laminate countertops and overall they are not in bad shape. There's a little bit of discoloring and a couple little marks here and there, but overall they're still in great shape. I just don't like the color and I do not have it in my budget to replace them, so that's why I decided to try and paint them. So I apologize in advance that I did not film myself actually painting the countertops. I just had so much stuff moved around in my kitchen and I really did not have a good angle for me to film. So I thought I would kind of run through everything. Uh, these are what I use. First I got the Rust-Oleum countertop coating paint. And this I picked up at Lowe's. And it is tintable to any of these colors that they have here on the side. You just take it up to the paint counter and tell them what color you would like and this was like $22 I believe and white is not actually an option but the girl told me she could just add some extra white to it since the base already was a white color but it kind of had a little bit of a yellow tint so she added the white for me and then I use a four inch sponge roller and then just my painting tray and if you guys want like a darker color paint, I believe they also carry a darker base. I'm not sure if Lowe's has it, but I know places like Kohl's and Ace type hardware stores carry it. And that would be used more if you wanted it like black countertops or like a really, really dark gray. Or I think they have like a green and a navy that are pretty dark as well. But like I said, I use the light base. So the first thing you want to do is really clean your countertops off well, scrub them and make sure there isn't any like sticky residue or food particles or anything on it. Then make sure it's really dry and then tape off everything you do not want the paint to go on, whether it's the sink, the backsplash, the wall, anything that you would want to prevent the paint from running into. And this is what my countertops look like after one coat and then I left it dry for I believe an hour and a half. And here is the final result guys. This is after two coats. I left it dry for like another hour and a half and then I removed all of the tape. And overall, I think the girl did a really good job with putting the white in because they are very bright white and it definitely made the countertops look a lot cleaner and brighter. And from a distance, it really does look like I bought new countertops. Um, a couple of things I'd like to say there are some pros and cons of this project. Well, the initial like first coat I think it goes on very well when you're using the roller and uh, you don't really have any issues as far as coating but as you can see when you get to the second coat I don't know it kind of leaves like little specks and air bubbles in some places and there's really nothing you can do about it because you can't go back and like sand it or anything but I would just call it more of like a texture but it's not really like visible and unless you're staring at it really well you won't even notice um, another con is the smell it's pretty pretty strong so you got to make sure that you open up a window and get some ventilation through your house and your house will definitely still linger of the smell for a day or two third con is that the paint is very sticky so if you get it onto your hands the only thing that I was able to use to get it off was nail polish remover and here you can see what I was talking about with the little bit of texture and streakiness but overall nothing too bad um, and the last con is that you have to wait like three days after you paint it before you can put your stuff back on. So it's just more of an inconvenience. 
Now, as far as the pros, I think this product is pretty easy to work with. I think it does excellent coverage. You cannot see any of that old veining in there. I like that it has a little bit of a glossy look, but not over the top glossy. So you'll be able to wipe things down. And I really do think that they made my countertops look like new again. So I will give you guys an update in a few months once I put my stuff all back on and I see how they hold up. They do recommend you still use hot pads and cutting boards and things like that so you don't nick them up. But overall, I have no complaints. I am very happy with how this turned out. I'm going to be installing a wall plank backsplash um, in the next like week or two. So as soon as I get that done, I will also be sharing a video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Subscribe if you are new. And until the next one, I'll see you guys then. Bye.